Hey guys, welcome to Season 5 of Elite Battle League once again. This is the last week of the regular season, Week 5. We are taking on Sly Guy and his San Antonio Espers. If you guys don't know, he is undefeated currently in the season, which means if we win today, we'll be his only loss. Um, a little insight on what his team is. He's got Kyogre, Zygarde, Blaziken, Scizor, Azumaru, Mamoswine, Aegislash, Mandibuzz, and Rotom Mo. For the six that I think he's going to bring, most likely I... Um, have put down Kyogre, Zygarde, Blaziken, Scizor, Azumarill, and Aegislash. Rotom, Mo, and Mamoswine are just as easily probable, but I just thought that those six are what I think he's going to bring. But uh, we're prepared for everything, so we'll just see how that goes. I'm going to send the code, and I'll see you guys in a second when the battle starts. All right, so it looks like he brought... Mamoswine instead of Azumarill, and that's the only major change, I believe, from what I picked, so there you have it. So we're going to lead Incineroar, see what we can do with it. Um, if he leads with Kyogre, obviously we switch out. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest with you, but um, I forgot to tell you guys what my team was bringing at the beginning of the video, but you can see it now. I had to bring Amoongus because it's the only Pokemon I haven't brought to the season already, so Amoongus is just kind of here to uh, put Pokemon to sleep and uh, maybe get some hits on and uh, in on uh, the Kyogre, but uh, ultimately it comes down to how he plays, honestly. Um... I'm already out of the playoffs, so whether or not I win this doesn't determine that. Um, this is just for me to finish up the season and try to have fun with it. So, we'll see how it goes. If I get absolutely obliterated, don't be surprised. Moo's sister. That is a Kyogre. That is an interesting name for a Kyogre. Um, and Sinner was not the best start against that. But it did set up the rain, so... Whipty freaking do. I would absolutely not be surprised if he uses a water type move here. So. I'm not going to be stupid and, and guess that I outspeed it. I would use parting shot, but. I don't want Incineroar to die before we can take care of Scizor. Because the last time that we didn't have Incineroar for a Scizor. Um, I lost to Josh, so. <laughs> We're going to switch up to Zacian and hope that he doesn't absolutely obliterate Zacian with whatever he's going to use here. Oh, he actually used Substitute. Okay. Interesting. That's a big Substitute doll. Hopefully the recoil isn't too bad on this. I mean, it's a Substitute doll, so... Yeah, that didn't do too much. All right, he's using Scald. Hopefully there's no burn. Good. We do outspeed, so it really just depends. He's probably gonna switch out to his Mamoswine. Honestly, I probably should have used a fighting time move, but in case he doesn't, which he probably will because of how important his Kyogre is, we'll have to see what he switches out to. With how long it's taking, it wouldn't be surprising if he's switching out at this point. Or maybe he's deciding whether or not it's worth it. Honestly, don't know. Because if he brings out his Mamoswine, it's probably going to eat. I'm, I'm definitely going to have speed. Okay. Goodbye, Kyogre. All right. Let's see if he brings out Zygarde next. Izacian is very weak right now but it can outspeed anything on his team. Show me the money. Who's next? Who is next? That is the real question of the day. Atomic Heart. That is the Scizor. Okay, so it's probably got Bullet Punch, although I have Fire Fang, I'm not stupid. So if he's going to use Bullet Punch, I'm going to switch out to Incineroar, who can take it easily. I hope he didn't predict the switch out and use a Fighting type move. Okay, good. 
I probably don't want speed, but I can probably take any fighting type move. At least once. Unless it's... Unless he has, um, whatever that priority fighting type move is. I'm just gonna use Flare Blitz. What's he gonna use? I would use Fire Spin. Okay, he's switching out. That's not surprising. The Queen Latifah. His Mammoth Swarm. Okay. We should be able to do solid damage to this. It's gonna do some recoil, but... Nah. <laughs> okay. So there goes the rain. Can't set that up again because Kyogre's dead. Um... I'm gonna use Parting Shot, assuming that he's gonna use Earthquake. Oh, he outsped me. That's interesting. Okay, um. So, Scissor's not dead, and we lost Incineroar. So, uh. We're in some troublesome territory here. And if he outsped Incineroar. I doubt that Iron Mon is going to outspeed, so I think I'd go out Dairy King. I, I can see him having Ancient Power on this thing, because that's how you evolve it into Mamoswine, but I, I've never seen anybody, or don't recall anybody using Ancient Power in a competitive scene. So, I'm going to use Aurora Veil here, and then use Blizzard. If he switches out to Scissor, I'm not going to be surprised. If he doesn't, I will also not be surprised. No shockers here, people. My main worry now is taking care of his... Um... Scizor, because my fire type's dead. Okay. Ouchers? Okay, now we're in a sticky situation, because if my Blizzard doesn't kill, or I don't think f f uh, Ice types can get frozen, um, we're kind of screwed here. I could Dynamax, but okay, he's using Stealth Rock, setting up. It is what it is. It'd be really cool if I could finish him off here. Okay, not surprising that I didn't. Um, oh no, I don't want to Dynamax because then he's just going to bring up Scizor next and obliterate me. And I need Dairy King for his Zygarde. Honestly. Another Earthquake's going to kill even with the Aurora Veil. So... I don't know, I guess I just go Blizzard again. I, c I could go Amoongus to absorb it, but... Okay, we survived that. That's cool. Does this kill is the real question. It does, okay. He's probably going to bring out Scizor again. Or Blaziken. Which is really when we're going to be stuck, because... Yeah, honestly, I think there's no way we can turn this around at this point. Yeah, Vanillix, the plan was to have Vanillix out against Blaziken while the rain was still happening, so I could use Weather Ball, but his Kyogre's dead, so. The only way I see us winning is if we somehow take out his Scissor in another way, and Zacian is able to outspeed with Play Rough on Zygarde and finish it off. Because that's the only way we can take it out Zygarde if, if Vanillix isn't going to be alive. I could also hope to outspeed this Blaziken and freeze it here. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Oh, he's Dynamaxing, cool. Yeah, well, here's another moment where somebody... Well, I only heard Josh say it, but... I don't see any point in Dynamaxing. I'll make it clear this time. I don't see any point in Dynamaxing. None of my Pokémon can take his hits, 
because Moongus is definitely going to die to Blaziken. There's there's no point in doing it. So save you some time there. Goodbye, David King. We don't even have Psychic Fangs on Zacian this week, so... Don't have anything super effective. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna play rough. See how much it does since it's neutral. And, uh... Yeah. See how the rest of this match goes, honestly. I guess while we're finishing it out, I won't bore you guys or just make you feel like, oh, just time to watch Land and Lose again. Uh, thank you all for your support throughout the EBL, through all the seasons I've been a part of. Uh, it's 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 been a lot of fun. While this season and last season haven't really been my strongest season, um, I have enjoyed my time in it. Wow, he even outsped with his Blaziken, my Zacian. Um, but, yeah, honestly, and... You know, if my fighting style wasn't really yours, or, or you just thought I was just not that great, or, or anything at any point, honestly, no hard feelings, nobody ever specifically said that to me, but... Honestly, the EBL was founded on having fun, battling for fun, and it's really evolved into um, everybody being competitive with each other, and... Um, well, I'm not saying that it's not fun anymore, because it, it is fun in its own way, and it really just depends on the person. Um, it's definitely evolved uh, way differently um, than how it started. So um, it's been interesting see seeing the EBL grow in the last couple of years. But um, that is the end to the current season for me. Um, GG's to Sly. I don't think I've said GG's enough in my matches. I hope nobody who's fought me has thought that I was salty or anything like that. But GG's to Sly. He battled pretty well, and he's undefeated, so congrats to him on that as well. Um, but I'm going to read off the other matches for you guys so you know who to watch this week. Again, thank you all again for your support. Um, schedule for this week. First, you're going to want to head over to Humberto, a.k.a. Lionheart, Lionheart Plays his channel, and Metagross, or that's his Twitter handle, made a Maxis channel to check out the Fort Sill Warriors versus the New York Matangs. Then you're gonna to wanna to head over to the Dormant channel and JKXY's channel to check out, check out the Texas Tyranitars versus the Snowdonian Frost Moths. Then you're gonna to wanna to head over to Smoosh Moosh's channel and Nudie's channel. I've forgotten Nudie, Nudie's like team name every week. I see Carolina, I'm like, whose team is that? And then I remember, oh yeah, it's Nudie. Literally the first person I fought this season. Anyway, you're gonna to wanna to check out their match. Uh, make sure to check out Sly's perspective as well. Uh, then you're gonna to wanna to head over to Pokey Pitch's channel and Nate Tube's channel, check out the Colchester Celtics versus the Walton Wingles. Then you're gonna to wanna to head over to Mike the Quick's channel and Lonely Hermit's channel and check out the Florida Rallets versus the LA Inferno. Then you're gonna to wanna to head over to Game Reviews' channel and Mr. Toast's channel. Check out the Detroit Luxors versus the Montebellum or Pecos. Then last but not least, you're going to want to head over to It's Really Simmy B's channel and the Raging Lakes channel. Check out DC Starmies versus the Greater Manchester Greninjas. Thank you again for supporting me throughout the EBL. And if you have been supporting me this season, even with all my losses, you're definitely going to want to keep up with the playoffs that continue after I'm done. Um, I don't know exactly who all has made the playoffs. Um... I'm not going to try to figure that out right now, but um, definitely keep up with it. Uh, also, I just realized a part of my face cam is leaking into the gameplay, so that's going to be fun. Um, we'll see if I have a way to cover that up, but I probably won't. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much again for checking out the season of the EBL. Hopefully you continue to, as I said before. And uh, yeah, this is Infernament Burning Out. We'll catch you guys next time. See you later.